According to the CDC, there's no current evidence that pets can either transmit COVID-19 to humans or that humans can transmit the virus to pets. That being said, it's always a good idea after you've had close contact with your pets to wash your hands because it's just good hand hygiene. Since pets cannot transmit the disease to humans and vice versa, people should not be planning to just abandon their pets because there's no risk to them or their pets of getting this disease from them. Things to consider to have on hand if you yourself get put into quarantine, whether it's home quarantine or some isolation at a hospital. Um, it's always a good idea to have some sort of disaster kit for your pets. There's a lot of resources on what types of things you would put in there, but the basics are things like their food, a couple weeks worth of food, usually about two is the guideline. You want to make sure that the current medications that they're on are in that um, disaster kit as well. The impact of the COVID-19 on veterinary treatment facility services, we have had to streamline some of our services and that we've reduced some of our basic wellness appointments, some sick call type issues or emergencies we're taking care of. There are some other pets that might have ongoing chronic issues that we're monitoring. We're also trying to get people in for those types of appointments, um, but there will be some limitations. Some places will be shut down depending on what their garrison commands. So it's always a good idea to check the Facebook page of the veterinary treatment facility or call them. We're trying to make sure that we can cover all health certificates that need to be issued, even with the stop travel, there are some people that are still moving. So for clients that already had a health certificate issued and their flight was stopped or delayed, we are going to reschedule those appointments when their travel has been reinstated and we will do those exams at no cost. People that had appointments but didn't actually get a health certificate issued when their travel has been rearranged, we will certainly get them scheduled in to get a health certificate.